Hi, I'm Bear Grylls and this is Pooh Bear. Together we are Pooh Bear Grylls. Today we're going to show you how to survive one of the most dangerous terrains on the whole of the planet, your back garden. One of the first things you'll need to get a grasp on is the loneliness. There's literally no one around for miles. In fact, the only person I can speak to is the voiceover guy. Knock knock. Who's there? Let us. Let us who? Let us in. It's cold out here. Okay, now it's really important to keep your energy levels up and stay hydrated. So the next thing we need to do is find some food and something to drink. It won't be easy, but if you keep your wits about you and stay calm, something will always turn up. Thanks. Oh, Michelle, let me back in. This is getting silly. Climbing this near vertical cliff face is having some serious effects on my body. I've just managed to fight off a mountain goat and my energy levels have dropped dangerously low. I need to find food and fast. Let's keep moving. Okay, look at this. Just what I'd expected. This has been hiding in the undergrowth, but it's obviously been killed by someone in the garden. It's just what I need to replenish those all important vitamins and nutrients. Now all I have to do is find a way to penetrate that outside layer to get to all that goodness inside. It's not gonna be easy. Time to eat. Okay, it's good. It tastes like pepperoni, a bit gritty, but it'll do. I'm now ready for anything. Quite often, when you're out in your garden, nature can provide some really dangerous obstacles. But as at times like this, you just gotta bite the bullet and take one for the team. said by the village elders that the ancient monuments around these parts possess sacred healing powers. I've been foraging around this old temple for a couple of hours looking for some much needed water. With the day coming to a close it's become more important than ever that I find some. Hold on, what's this? A bottle of Disarano. It's not ideal for hydration, but it's definitely going to help me get through the night. So after a long day, using all my survival techniques just to stay alive, here we are. We finally reached our shelter. Made from an old parachute I found lying around, this will protect me from all the rain, wind and snow, and it'll stop any wild animals from getting in. This means tomorrow, after a good night's sleep, we can get back to looking for Antony. I've been Pooh Bear Grills. Stay safe everyone. Till tomorrow.